Uh, it's almost 9 a.m. on uh, January 16, 2023, and uh, it's, it's it's still zero degrees. Sun's out though. <laughs> Doesn't help much. Uh, look at the shadows on the kettle there. Yeah, still casting long shadows even at 9 a.m. Sun's already high. Uh, well, there's there's a there's two of them there, and there's one over there. I'm missing one. I'm not sure. I'll see. Maybe maybe yeah. Uh, Maybe it's on the other side of that bale. I don't know. I can't tell. That one was over there. Maybe it was drinking something. I think the other one might be right there. Or it's up on top. Up in the barn. Uh, I don't know. Too cold to go out looking for him. I don't see it anywhere right here. It might be up at the top, up in the barn. But it, like I said, it snowed. And what I noticed, it snowed a little bit last night. It was, a little, it was more white. There's more white on the ground now. More white, greener. I think it's snowing right now. I can, I can see, I, I can see a little shiny things floating around in the sky, in the air. I think there's little. I don't think it's snowing. They're probably falling off the trees. Yeah, yeah, falling off the trees. Yeah, the, the snow's falling off the trees. Okay, I'll come out later and look for the other one. But it should probably show up someplace. Anyway, it's too cold to be out here too long. I didn't dress for it. I just stepped out to take a look. Uh, I'll go out later and chop, chop some ice. I get some clothes, warmer clothes on. Ah, cold. Ah. Okay, I gotta go in. Zero degrees. Still cold. Ugh, cat. Still zero degrees. Uh, let's see, January 16th. 20, 24 at almost 9 a.m. Still zero degrees. Oh, oh, I just found the other cattle. Okay. Anyway, zero degrees. There she is, slowly coming down the hill. Oh, there's a hard walk. Hard to walk down that hill. That's where she was. She was in the barn. She just came down. Yeah, I'll come out later and chop the ice. Oh, look. A bluebird. Or oh, snowbird. Is he right there? Right there on the other side of that. Right there. Whoa. I think we used to call those snowbirds when we were kids. Because they always come out in the snow. They're gray. I don't know exactly what they are. They're just gray. Anyway. Uh, they're all here now. Okay, I'm going in. Too cold. My hands are frozen. Uh, all right. Catch you later. Bye. Well, still January 16, 2023. Temperatures are almost is around 10 degrees. Yeah. 10 degrees. Warmed up a little bit since this morning. It's 2, 2 p.m. right now, so that's at 9 p.m. it was zero. So it went up 10 degrees in uh, five hours. So that's two degrees an hour. Okay, now I'm gonna cut ice. Well, I'm back. Still January 16th, 2023. It's Tuesday. And uh, we're going to be cutting ice down there on that pond there. I made one hole yesterday. 
Today I'll uh, cut that same hole out again. Maybe maybe a little make it a little bigger. And I'm gonna cut another hole. I'm gonna cut a second hole there. I'm not gonna go over there. It's too hard to get down into the bank. Here it's easy to get to. And uh, I think they still got water there in that hole. Cause I seen another one in, uh, drink on there. I think she's over there too. She wants to go to drink. Now she's just standing in the water. <laughs> Maybe keeps her feet warm. Who knows? Anyway, I'm gonna walk down there. That's the dangerous part, walking down this hill over here to get down there. Uh, but I'll make it. I did it yesterday. Just gonna watch my footing. I'm bringing an extra tool with me today besides the axe. I'm bringing a pitchfork to help me pull the ice out of the hole after I cut it. Okay, let me get down there. These are tools I've been using, or I used. I used that axe yesterday, but it was hard to get the block of ice out of, out of the water hole. Anyway, uh, I'm bringing that pitchfork to help me pull the ice out after it's cut while it's floating in the hole. I also brought a yardstick on to measure the thickness of the ice. Uh, that's the same axe I use in the summertime to chop up. I was using it on clearing that tree that was fell across my pasture road. It took me a long time to clean it up. and I was using that axe to chop something and uh, I was surprised when that the bit on the axe broke on that one side. Broke a big hunk out of it. Must have had a crack in it or something. Anyway, I can still use it. I can use the other side to cut the ice out. Still good enough for that. All right, hey, let's get down to the to the pond now. This is where I crossed the fence. I got the gate hook there. I just unhook it and go in. Then I walk down that hill along that fence there. Uh, there are cattle are down there waiting for me. I think. Look, they're still eating grass. How about that? Even, if, even though there's hardly any grass left, it's all dead or dormant. They're still eating on it. Let me, let me get down there. Well, halfway down the hill. Cattle are over there. And the other ones. The other ones over there. That's where I came from, up there. By that creep feeder, which I don't use anymore. Okay, okay, let's go. I uh, still got plenty of hay left. Let's get down the hill, cut some ice. Uh, I'm ready to chop. There's a, there's a hole I cut out yesterday. It's ready, froze over. Uh, and I'm gonna cut that one out first. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit bigger too. So I have a better chance of getting in there. And then, uh, after I cut that one out, I'm going to cut another hole out right here, right next to it, in this little gap there. Cause the cat, looks like the cattle have an easy way to get in. <laughs> looks like something crossed the pond there. Uh, looks like something big. It's too big for a cat. That'd be some type of dog or coyote. Fox maybe, maybe a fox. Uh, anyway, it's let's get cut. Okay, let's go. Uh, looks like the ice. <laughs> oh, hard to breathe. It's about four inches. So it must have been about three inches yesterday. I thought it was two, but it's three. Anyway, that's where we're at right now. Three inches, four inches, I mean. And that's a hole I cut out. I made it a little bigger. <sighs> now I gotta, gotta hold out over, over here. <sighs> they're, they're waiting for me. What you guys waiting for? Go on down, get a drink. I won't stop you. Go ahead. Ooh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it gets so warm with all their hair. Huh? Go on down. 
Better drink it before it freezes up. Well, I gotta cut another hole here. I cut one here, but I don't think the water is deep enough. I'll cut it over there first. I don't know. Cut three holes. Because my phone stopped working it's too cold. But I cut. See, finally went. When they were all over here, one would go down to drink, and the other would hit them in the butt, and they'd back up. So I, so I decided to cut three holes. One here, one there. I cut another small one over here in case they push each other out. Maybe we don't. That should be enough for each one to get a drink. The fourth one will just have to wait. I don't know, too cold. Uh, cut another hole. And, and, uh, oh look. Maybe I will cut a hole there. I'll cut a hole there. That way only one can go in at a time. Okay, I'll cut another hole there. I did last year. Well, that's where I'm going to the next hole. They can come down this way a little bit easier. And I walked across the ice on the edge here. And then like I said, I got two holes over there and one over there a little bit to the left. But I went ahead and cut a fourth hole here just to give them an extra hole to drink out of. Okay, let's start cutting. Waiting to drink, I think. Uh, cut this hole cut out. Ice was laying in the mud or on the mud. I have to walk down this hill there to get to it. Well, this is water. Hopefully, they'll, they'll drink and they get thirsty enough. They'll take, see, they keep pushing each other by the butt. But now, since there's three holes there, they all have a chance to drink. Unless they all want to crowd around in one hole. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do today. Three holes over there and one hole here. That should be enough. I seen one cow walk down here, so they should do it again. Yeah, that's about four inches thick. Okay, I think that's all for today. Oh look, I think she's one that uh, one cow on the other side, she drank already. Looks like she's getting ready to drink too. Uh at least I know they have access to water now, so I gotta end it here. Okay. Let's uh, get to the top. Uh, colder up here. When it's cold up here, down there it was warm. Uh, anyway, I'm uh going back to the house now. Oh, oh, good, they're drinking. Uh, at least one of them drinking now. And the other one behind, uh, beside her, I, I saw her get a drink earlier too. Okay, you can drink here as soon as I leave. Okay. Oh, funny, I saw them drinking. Hey, they're drinking water now. As long as the other ones leave them alone. You need to go back over there. That's your best chance of getting water on that side. I don't think they'll let you in. Anyway, at least they have water now. Okay, I'm gonna end it here. I'm going back in the house, it's too cold out here. My toes are cold, my hands are cold. I'm even wearing gloves until I have to take them off to record. I kinda can't push the record button with gloves on. Anyway, I think she, she drank way over there somewhere before. Well, at least now they have water. Okay, I'm going back in the house. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, catch you on the next one.